Beyond the glow cast by my torch lies an untouched darkness waiting to consume what little light I have left to spare. Push forward, I silently chant. Push. <laughs> um. Hey guys, um, this fire isn't moving the way that it should be. Um, it's kind of taking me out of my element. Can you do something about it? Oh, hey, yeah, George, sorry, that's our bad. Adrian, don't we have a script for this? We sure do, Chris, and it's free for everyone. The Motion Create script helps your stock fire and other VFX elements react realistically to movement. Oh, wow, you seem to know a lot about this script. How does it work again? Let me show you. First, download and install the script in your After Effects Scripts folder, and then launch After Effects. Go to File, Scripts, Motion Create. Ah, uh, yeah, cool, now it's coming back to me. If your VFX element is pre-keyed, go ahead and pre-compose it. In that pre-comp, add a black solid. Motion Crate uses the Puppet Pin Tool, which generates a mesh. To help that mesh get more detail, we can mask out the black solid behind our fire asset. Make sure your fire or whatever VFX you're using stay within that black solid. Let's jump back into our main comp. Find the Motion Crate window and push the Set Endpoints button. This creates a new null object with two endpoints in the After Effects Controls window. Drag the bottom endpoint to the bottom of your effect and the top endpoint to the top of the effect. Whoa! Yeah! Now we can create some nulls. We usually suggest going no lower than three nulls and no higher than six or seven depending on the size of your effect. We'll go with five and hit Create Nulls. We can see our five nulls have now been generated. Let's uh, just ignore the wide element setup for now. We'll swing back to that later. Wind, wind turbulence, and delay can all be changed now or later, so we'll just leave it at the default for now. With our pre-comp selected, let's add some puppet pin points. To minimize any potential distortion, let's put the puppet pins at the top left of each one of the nulls generated, except for the endpoint selector null. Once you've done that, hit generate. The nulls have been hidden. The two nulls we can still see are the controls null and the source null. The source null is where all movement will be generated from, while the controls null lets you adjust the wind and delay settings. You can paste tracking data to your source null or any keyframe data. Here we'll add a wiggle expression to the source null so you can see how things are working. Hey, pretty awesome. Let's check out the control null. The wind function allows your effect to react as if there's wind blowing from either direction. Wind turbulence is similar, but with inconsistent wind. And delay is how long the reaction time takes. Play with these settings to get the look that you want. And that's how the Motion Crate script works. We're gonna start including it in a lot of our tutorials, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. The script was based off an amazing tutorial by Ren Weichman. We'll make sure to put a link to that tutorial below as well. Thanks, Ren. All right, if you stuck around, you're probably wanting to know how the wide element setup works. This feature is for effects with a wide base, so something like a ground fire element instead of a torch or a candle flame. Do the same process where you generate the nulls and apply the puppet pin points on the Y axis. The wide element setups will allow us to add points on the X axis as well. After you apply the puppet pins, hit the wide element setup checkbox. We now have a wide element setup null object. That null contains two points, same as the endpoint null. Move the base left to the bottom left of the effect and move the base right to the bottom right. Make sure you have the effect pre-comp selected and add four new puppet pin points starting from the left. Try to add the first point at the furthest possible corner on the left side. The next point is going to be in between that point and the center point. And then the next point is going to be between the center and the right corner. And then the last is the right corner. That way they are all pretty evenly spaced. Go ahead and hit generate. You'll see the effect move to match the new pinpoints. There might be some distortion, but combining multiple effects and playing with these settings will help with that. Your control null and source null have the same functions as before, so don't worry about those. We 
love this tool and we are so happy to have it as part of our arsenal. Again, thanks to Ren for coming up with the concept and thanks to Nate for developing an incredible script. Yep, you guys rock. All right, everybody, thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the script and we'll see y'all next time. Later, creator. Later, creator.